to the German language distance learning program for beginners. This is a joint program conducted by the Indira Gandhi National Open University in collaboration with Max Müller Bhavan, the German Cultural Center in India. Herzlich willkommen zum Fernkurs Deutsch als Fremdsprache für Anfänger. Ein gemeinsames Programm zwischen der Indira Gandhi National Open University und dem Goethe-Institut Max müller Pavan, dem Deutschen Kulturzentrum in Indien. You're listening to Radio D, the radio language course of Redaktion D. A joint project of the Goethe Institute and Deutsche Welle Radio. The author is Herat Mese. Welcome to episode 9 of your German language course, Radio D. You may remember that Paula, our young Radio D journalist, has found out something very important. A man pretending to be King Ludwig is only an actor playing the king in a musical. Paula's first response is to be cross with herself, but how else does she react? Philip, was machst du? Wo bist du? Bitte, geh ans Telefon, bitte. Paula, ich verstehe nichts. Ich verstehe überhaupt nichts. Du verstehst nichts? Ach. Sag mal, was war in Neuschwanstein? Paula's first reaction is to try and phone Philip. It's engaged though, as the busy tone may tell you. Philip, was machst du? Wo bist du? Bitte, geh ans Telefon, bitte. Paula hasn't had a chance yet to tell her colleague Eihan what happened to her and Philip in Neuschwanstein Castle. So no wonder Eihan doesn't understand anything. Paula, ich verstehe nichts. Ich verstehe überhaupt nichts. It's too bad he said that though, because it makes Paula even more furious. But because he really would like to be filled in, Eihan asks again, gingerly, what went on in Neuschwanstein. Du verstehst nichts? Ach! Sag mal, was war in Neuschwanstein? But Eihan is told nothing. So, we won't miss anything and we can focus now on Philip. From Neuschwanstein, Philip drove about 125 kilometers to Munich. He went into a cafe there and found an advertisement in a newspaper that he's very interested in. Well, you already know what Philip read in the paper because you've heard it as a radio ad. So what's new for you? So, und für Sie ein Café? Bitte schön. Danke. Oh, das ist ja interessant. König Ludwig, die Sehnsucht nach dem Paradies, das Musical. Eine Tour von München nach Neuschwanstein. Unsere Telefonnummer. Das mache ich sofort. You already know that there's a musical on about King Ludwig. It's called Yearning for Paradise. What's new to you is that a tour is offered from Munich to Neuschwanstein Castle. Eine Tour von München nach Neuschwanstein. Philip rings the firm offering the package and makes a reservation for himself.
In the Berlin head office of Radio D's current affairs unit, Ihan has, of course, noticed that Philip isn't back. He thinks that maybe he'd talk to him about what happened in Neuschwanstein Castle. So, meaning no harm and sounding almost disinterested, Ihan asks about Philip. Wo ist eigentlich Philip? In München. Nein, im Stau. Philipp ist im Stau. Paula thinks Philipp is in Munich. Wo ist eigentlich Philipp? In München. But Kompu contradicts her. Kompu is Radio D's talking computer. It's looked quickly into the mailbox and it knows what none of us know yet that Philip is stuck right in the middle of a traffic jam. Nein. Im Stau. Philip is im Stau. So, Philip is stuck in a tailback on the motorway, just like all the other tourists riding buses from Munich to the musical. Hallo liebe Hörerinnen und Hörer. Willkommen bei Radio D. Radio D. Die Reportage. As you can probably imagine, there are tourists from various countries on the bus with Philip. He's been recording them. What languages do you recognize? German's one of them. Ein Stau? Na super. Oh, what happened? Um, do you want something to drink, darling? Oh yes, my darling. Tu as faim? Hola, mire hola. Soy ya lai. Schau mal, ist das nicht toll? Gibt es hier eine Toilette? Lots of tourists visit attractions like Neuschwanstein Castle, foreigners and Germans. Perhaps you heard some English or French or Japanese. Well, you probably understood the German speakers. One of them asks whether there's a toilet. Gibt es hier eine Toilette? And Philip is anything but pleased about the traffic jam. Ein Stau? Na super. But since he's stuck, Philip makes use of the time to ask some of the tourists in the bus why they want to see the musical. The first two answers by foreigners are in an amusing hodgepodge of German and their own languages. What do the tourists expect from the musical? Grüß Gott, ich bin Redakteur bei Radio D. Sie fahren zum Musical. Warum? Oh, das ist wonderful. Oh la la, das ist sicher très amusant. Scusi, ich kann nichts so verstehen. The tourists are looking forward to the performance. The first woman thinks it's bound to be wonderful, which sounds similar in German. Wundervoll. Oh. Das ist wonderful. The second woman imagines it's going to be very amusing. She uses the French word amusant, which also sounds similar in German, amusant. Oh la la, das ist sicher très amusant. Philip begins by greeting the tourists in Bavarian dialect, saying Grüß Gott, which is what they say in southern Germany instead of Guten Tag. Then he tells them he's a reporter and asks why the tourists are traveling to the musical. Grüß Gott, ich bin Redakteur bei Radio D. Sie fahren zum Musical. Warum? The tourist he speaks to last excuses himself and says that he doesn't understand. He says so in German that isn't quite correct, but Philip does understand him and you probably do too. Scusi, ich kann nichts so verstehen. And just why that wasn't 100% correct, you'll find out now from our professor. 
Und nun kommt unser Professor. Radio D. Gespräch über Sprache. So, Professor, what was wrong with what the last tourist said? Well, we did understand that he doesn't understand anything. Scusi, ich kann nichts verstehen. Did the tourist mispronounce the word nothing, nichts? No, in everyday German it's often said like that. Oh. But compare the following two sentences and pay attention to the positioning of the negation, nothing, nichts. Ich verstehe nichts. Ich nix verstehen. Ah, oh, got it. The negation with the word nichts has to come after the verb. Paula, ich verstehe nichts. Ich verstehe überhaupt nichts. Right, and there's something else, of course, that our listeners already know. In German, verbs are conjugated. And the verb ending for the first person, ich, is mostly an e. One doesn't just use the infinitive. Well, thanks for that, Professor. And now, just for you, dear listeners, here's the nothing rap. Nichts, nichts, ich verstehe nichts. Ich verstehe überhaupt nichts, überhaupt nichts, nichts. Hä? Hä? Ich verstehe, hä? Ich verstehe überhaupt nichts, überhaupt nichts. Hä? Hm, nichts, hm, nichts. Ich verstehe nichts. Ich verstehe überhaupt nichts, überhaupt nichts. Hä? Überhaupt nichts. Überhaupt nichts. Überhaupt nichts. Well, I hope you understood a bit more than I have. You can hear some of those scenes again now. First, let's hear Paula getting annoyed. Philip, was machst du? Wo bist du? Bitte, geh ans Telefon, bitte. Paula, ich verstehe nichts. Ich verstehe überhaupt nichts. Du verstehst nichts? Ach. Sag mal, was war in Neuschwanstein? The bus Philip has taken to the musical is stuck in traffic. Philip uses the time to record background sound and voices. Ein Stau? Na super. Oh, what happened? Um, do you want something to drink, darling? Oh yes, my darling. Tu as faim? Hola, mi te gusta. Soy ya la eh. Schau mal, ist das nicht toll? Gibt es hier eine Toilette? Philip wants to know why the tourists are traveling to the musical. Grüß Gott, ich bin Redakteur bei Radio D. Sie fahren zum Musical. Warum? Oh, das ist wonderful. Oh la la, das ist sicher très amusant. Scusi, ich kann nichts verstehen. In the next episode, you'll get to know another important character in this radio language course. Well, actually, you have met her briefly, but you'll hear more then. Liebe Hörerinnen und Hörer, bis zum nächsten Mal.
You've been listening to Radio D, a German course of the Goethe Institute and Deutsche Welle Radio. Besten Dank, dass Sie unseren Deutschkurs für Anfänger eingeschaltet haben. Detaillierte Information über den Kurs bekommen Sie im Studienzentrum, Regionalzentrum und im Max Müller Pavilion. Thank you for tuning in to our German language program for beginners. Detailed information regarding this program is available at your study center, regional center and at the Max Müller Bhavan. Yeah.